Hey, this is Greg Ryder, and I want to say thanks, everybody, for showing up today. Uh, I want to introduce you to Michael uh, Fugler. So he's our fourth partner of the Angel Investors Network and our Mastermind Investment Club. And unfortunately, he wasn't able to be with us when we shot the video uh, that you may have seen already. So I want to introduce you to Michael and give you a little bit about Michael and who he's about. And I've known Michael for probably 20 years plus, uh, registered, licensed broker, dealer, investment banker, done billions of dollars worth of business. And Michael, say thanks for taking a few times, uh, a few minutes here to, to meet everybody and talk a little bit about the Mastermind Investment Club. Thank you, Greg. I'm excited to be here and I'm really excited about the Mastermind Club and a chance to talk about it briefly today. So, so give everyone just a quick three or four minute background or two minute, whatever background on your background as an investment banker. And then I, and then really what I always want them to do is I want them to get to know who you are and I want you to share what you bring to the table because you bring a particular skill set to the table that the other three of us don't have. That's really, really rounds off our whole kind of lead investor role type thing. Well, for the last uh, 40 plus years, I've been a licensed attorney and I still am a licensed attorney. I moved the attorney side to the background uh, about 20 years ago. I, I practiced uh, heavily. Uh, at the end of the heavy practice, I was doing securities work. So I was doing the regulation D 506s. And I was doing the 504s and doing the S1s. And back then you could do SB2s. So we were taking, I was spending a lot of time sitting down and doing offering documents, uh, all of the legal preparation to raise capital and put companies on stock exchanges. I then morphed into an opportunity and got into investment banking and was very, very fortunate that when I did that, we had a tremendous upcycle with a lot of successful transactions. And that was very beneficial for me to get involved in the National Investment Banking Association, groups like the Financial Services Exchange, and put together some really fantastic uh, syndications. We served, and I served as lead co-manager, underwriter, on a number of very successful offerings. And in Europe, we were the lead. In the United States, oftentimes, we might have been a co-manager. But uh, some names that people might recognize would be like Taser, uh, Reeds, which was at the time a uh, number one seller of beverages and Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. Taser, I think everybody knows the stun gun. So we still have probably 10, 15 uh, companies that we've worked with bringing to the exchanges that are on the New York Stock Exchange, quite a number on NASDAQ, American Stock Exchange, over-the-counter, bulletin board, and then around the world, Hong Kong Exchange, Frankfurt Exchange, the London Exchange. So I've had a, an opportunity for a lot of cross-border experience in my background and the, besides trial work and doing securities, I had a lot of experience in international trade and finance. So all of that's come together full circle here and is very helpful and beneficial. A lot of the offerings that I've done in the, in the, through the years, one of the first things that I did when I moved from the legal to the investment banking, I was the one chosen to go in and examine the company and decide were we even going to do the deal. I was the one to do the due diligence. I was the one to go in and vet the company, help them with their presentation, package, storytelling. And then I was the point person. I was the one who went to the all hands meeting. I got together with pulling in the, the auditors, the CPAs, the securities lawyers, because at that time I was playing the investment banking role was no longer acting as the securities attorney. I was a quarterback, if you will, and the coach for the entrepreneurial company, the issuer that was raising capital and getting listed on the various exchanges. What's really exciting right now is going into helping this new thing, this new evolution of giving people an opportunity to be investors. And we're expanding that marketplace with the Jobs Act, with crowdfunding, with general solicitation, the new, the new rules with Reg D, 506C, and I know I'm using some acronyms here, but basically it's private placements with a new twist to be able to generally solicit. So we have a lot of people that now have the opportunity for a door to be open for them to get into direct placements and securities that maybe either haven't had it before, or maybe they were using a broker dealer or they were using 
some other mechanism to invest their capital. And now coming direct, they really need, I think, some help with current education on what the rules and laws are, how they can get into it, and most of all, protection. Protection from people like us in our new mastermind group, where we go in and do the tough, heavy lifting up front. I still encourage them to do their own research. I still encourage them to make their own decision. But we can screen it. We can vet it. We can uncover it. We can explain it. And that's going to go miles to help these investors make the right decisions. Because I have to tell you, through the years, the most discouraging thing was to have to watch, as I did investigations on companies, and see unscrupulous activity, see not proper uh, inventory that was listed on the books but not on the shelves, see squabbling internally. It's real easy to mask when people are doing a road show in you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you get up there and you can be the greatest, the greatest happiest people on earth. But when people like me go into a company and I go sit down and talk to the truck drivers and have coffee with the secretarial people and the staff, I like to spend time. I go in my blue jeans and my cowboy boots and hang out. And then you see real life. Then you hear all of the intricacies of the scuttle, which influences my decision on whether I'm going to go forward or not. Investors don't have that opportunity. So we bring that expertise, decades of expertise on how to make these determinations and we can help them. And that's what the Mastermind Club is all about, opening the door and giving people not only an inside view, but an opportunity to get in on the inside with groups like us, Kevin Harrington. Wow. I mean, you know, the Mr. Shark Tank himself, the original and uh, billions of dollars on uh, infomercials. You, you, the founder of Angel Investor Network, which now has brought on these additional partners with Kevin, including myself and Bert Ullman. I mean, my God, you know, Bert's done the J-Lo and Mark Anthony, $500 million deals. People like Adam Levine from The Voice and you name big stars and Bert's probably been, been involved, let alone uh, Damon John and FUBU, which he helped build that brand. So we have a really remarkable team of people, each with different strengths coming together. And that's what's exciting to be a part of this new mastermind. Now, no, I appreciate it. So, so you can see that um, uh, Michael has a skill set to the table that involves due diligence, legal, um, history of getting companies listed, just uh, just an amazing thing. And I know I want to keep this short because we're going we're gonna to send you lots of videos. You're going to get to know us. We're going to talk about different topics. But rather than barrage you with 30-minute, 40-minute videos, we're going to break them up into little five, seven-minute videos. So I want you to touch on one thing, and then we'll call this video quits, is the other thing that you have an amazing knack for is the negotiation and deal structure. You've always been so creative in corporate finance and structuring the deal and making making uh, you know the, the investors happy, the entrepreneurs happy, us as the lead guys happy. So touch on that a little bit. And then the other thing I, I want to tease you with is that Michael also is the manager of a fund. So we do have investors that are going to join the club. And they want to make individual investments. You don't have to invest in any deal we present you. We're giving you the right to invest. We have other investors who go, I want to put money in the fund, and we'll let the fund just make the investments for us. So let, let's talk about your, your deal structure and corporate finance real quick, and then just a little tease about the fund, and then we'll do a whole other video on the fund. It's really interesting how people on two sides can come together on the phone, by email, in a room physically, one-on-one, -on -one, looking at the, each other's mm -hmm. eyes and can't figure out how to make a deal work. And you think that's it's hard to believe, but I can't tell you how many times I have been flown into cities, flown into different countries where people want to make a deal, they just can't figure it out. And I think understanding the nuances and the complexities of things like you know common stock and different variations preferred shares, convertible preferred shares, ways that you can create a structure, ways that you can have delayed payments, ways that you can work with inside an LLC and a C-Corp and an S-Corp and the various legal structures. Having done that now for four decades, 
I've had an opportunity to develop a real expertise and I'm really excited to bring it to the mastermind group and excited to bring it to people that decide to get involved with us. So I think that's going to be a real interesting element for people because they're going to have through me and us with you bringing me in the opportunity. Maybe they have deals they're looking at and want us to look at them. We have tons of them that we're looking at, but to be able to know that we can go in and come up with a creative critical structure at a time when it's important and get the deal done. And that's what I do. Now with regards to the other uh, component, what was your second question? The fund, the Angel Investors Network Fund. The Angel Investor Network Bridge Fund is a fund that we created in 2016. And uh, I find it, you know, really exciting. There are ways that people can get involved. Number one, where they put in a certain amount of money for a given period of time. There's several options that you check off on the subscription agreement. Uh, the other is you put in a little bit more money and you get a little bit bigger return projected. And then another one uh, is that you can come in with customization, meaning you put the money in the fund in your market. Let's say you put in 10,000, 25,000, 100,000, whatever the number might be, and you check off that block. Well, that means that myself and if any of the other people that might be participating, it might be you, it might be Kevin, whoever, that I, I'm the, the point person. I'll be talking to the person that's investing and they say customization. So I say, okay, this is the deal we're getting ready to do, and this is how we're going to do it, and this is how we're going to put your money into that particular deal, as opposed to just being in the fund and having us tag along and put it into the things that we're going to be putting into many, many deals, and then they'll get a return on the total return of the fund. So there's numerous ways to participate. And then, of course, the mastermind itself gives those people that join a first look at all the things that we're doing. And we get together with them periodically and not only on webinars, but we will be getting together with them in person and talking about what are we looking at? How are we analyzing it? What are our thoughts? Why do we think something's hot? Why do we want to go in this direction? Things that people in an investor capacity don't normally get a chance to look at, because I'm going to tell you something. I peel it back. I mean, every layer until it gets down to the very beginning. So I see, things that people that invest their capital, no matter what kind of company they invest in, never, ever, ever get a chance to see. And I'll share those things and those secrets and the, the way that we go about doing it. Yeah, very cool. So so here's the bottom line is that if you have not yet applied to the Mastermind Investment Club and you want to, underneath this video, there'll be a little button, apply now. It'll take you to a form. We're gonna ask you some basic questions. We're they gonna give you a call. This is not for everybody. Um, we're not saying we're going to make money in every deal. So we want, there's risks involved and we will try to bet you out. We want people that understand that you could lose your entire investment on any given deal. We want people to understand that we want you to bring value to the table. We want to get people in our mastermind that can bring a value and a skill set. And we will meet a couple times a year in a mastermind setting and help each other talk about investing, talk about early stage investing, talk about whatever the kind of investing we're doing, as well as helping you with your business. We have great business minds marketing distribution that we can add value to your existing business. So go ahead, click the button and apply if you think that's for you and look for the next video. And until then, I appreciate you, Michael, and we'll sign off for now and we will see you hopefully at our next event, which is coming up soon. Thank you, Greg.